That's a very good question. Um, and, uh, you know, what's going on in Raleigh right now isn't just, you know, I don't even think it's just ideological. I think there is a resetting of the relationship between local and state government that's happening. It's not just happening in Charlotte. Um, Asheville's had a tussle over its airport. Um, it's now having a tussle over its water and sewer systems. Wilmington's had the same issues. Um, and uh, there'll probably be more issues to come. Um, here's what I think we have to try to do. And uh, I can't say to you with any degree of precision whether this actually works. But you know, what's happening in Raleigh is I think there's a sense that um, we've got to create a, a, a almost an austerity kind of mindset to get the fiscal house of the state in order. And um, part of what I, I'm starting to hear back is that everybody's got to be playing that game. Uh, in other words, that you know, cities can't be out here trying to prepare themselves for growth for new population and dealing with some of the some of the underlying issues that could hold a particular city back. Uh, cities are going to have to make the same choices the state governments make. The danger in that is that cities in North Carolina will not be competitive in the future. Uh, we will lose the opportunity to um, to invite that growth into Charlotte, to Asheville, to Greensboro, to Durham, to Raleigh, to Wilmington. And I think it hurts the state. 